Hello viewers, welcome to my channel at Easy Surveys, where I make survey practices easier and educative. Here in this video tutorial, I want to show everyone on how to import AutoCAD DWG drawing into the software application work environment. So this is actually necessary and important when you are compiling a report for your topographic survey. All right, you need to show how your perimeter topo is overlaid on the generated contour sofa and later trimmed and dressed to produce the complete uh, topographic map all right so to do just that the importing from dwg to sofa application all you have to do is to select just the perimeter boundary line of your uh, autocad drawings of your study area okay so i'm just quickly going to use the shortcut quick select if you do not know how to use the quick select shortcut check under the video description to this video and see the video tutorial on how to do just that so i'm just going to click on ok so as you can see the boundary lines has been highlighted so the next thing to do is to right click come to clipboard then click on copy all right then you go to this plus sign you click on that to open a new work environment all right you right click come to clipboard then you click on paste to original coordinates all right then you click on zoom extent icon so this is just it there you cannot delete what you do not need so what we are interested in is just the boundary line of the property so i'm just going to delete all this that is not needed okay so this is just what is needed the boundary line only so when you are done with this okay you have to save this work environment this boundary line uh drawing you have to save it as the excess by coming to this AutoCAD red icon, scroll down to save us, click on that, then come to the files of type, click on that, then scroll down to DXF. So you can save as any of the DXF format depending on the software you are using. So let's just go with AutoCAD 2007. So this can actually be readable by uh any software version from 2010 upwards so i'm just going to click on that okay then you have to rename your file name then note the folder it's going into so let me just save it under my youtube folder okay so i want it to be saved here then i'll call this youtube all right so remember take note of the steps if you didn't get it you rewind this video to watch how we save as AutoCAD 27 DXF. Then you click on save. All right. So when you are done with that, you close this work environment. Make sure you close it. Okay. Make sure you close it. It shouldn't be. It shouldn't be on. All right. So that is just it. Then you can minimize the uh, AutoCAD work environment. Then you launch into your software. You launch into the generated contour of that particular. Uh, survey the topo perimeter survey so this is the generated contour all right so to import the boundary of the dwg of this generated contour you come to file okay you scroll down to import you click on that then you go to the folder all right you go to the folder where you have your dwg drawing so it's on my youtube all right so you can see youtube already showing so if it can't show you you come to this common graphic files so click on that then you scroll and look for the xf or you recommendably you click on all files so that all other files can be displayed okay so you can see here the xf so youtube the xf you click on that then you click on open then here you just click on okay so guys this is just the uh the boundary that has been overlaid so you can now come here to do the adjustments click on the boundary layer okay then adjust it down all right to fit in so this is how to import autocad drawing into the software work environment without stress so from here you can actually save as pdf or save as jpeg then then attach it to your 
uh, report that you are writing for your topographic mapping so how to save or export as pdf okay is to come to file then you go to export so here you click on the file as type click on that then you look for pdf okay pdf so you can see pdf vector click on that then you can name this okay so i'm just going to call this report right and it is saved under the youtube then you click on save then you click on ok so it's already in exporting as pdf yeah and it's done so let's just go and confirm pdf so you can see it here report pdf so let's take a look on how it looks like please if you have watched this video to this extent do where to hit on the subscribe icon as well as turn on your notification on this channel to keep getting more valuable tutorial freely from this channel thank you so guys as you can see that is just it in pdf format thank you for watching and i hope to see you again